Breaking news this morning. BART riders had to be rescued overnight after a train struck a vehicle on the tracks. Thank you for joining us. I'm James Fletcher. And I'm Raina Harvey. Three people were injured, including the train's operator. Cromford's Will Trent is live at a BART station with the latest, Will. This is pretty alarming to hear. Yeah, what happened? Here's what you need to know. BART trains are about to run. You won't have any problems until you get to the Coliseum because by then you will have to offload and then go bus bridge. This happens between the Coliseum station as well as Lake Merritt. And then you will continue because of a major problem that happened here in near that area. Let me show you video. This all went down at around 1135 last night when for some unknown reason, and this is still under investigation, spectacular video of a driver for some unknown reason crashes through the fence and actually collides with a northbound bar train. This happened between Fruitvale and Lake Merritt. The collision actually injured the train conductor as well as two other people. They had to rush out there and to evacuate the remaining passengers, about 45 of them. They were checked out at the scene to see if they had any serious injuries. But we do know this morning three people have been injured by all of this. The extent of their injuries still not released to the public. They shut it down for quite some time. They actually had to involve police officers. And at one point, Reyna and James, they had to look at the driver. He cooperated at the scene. They did a field sobriety test, and then they, take, they took him into custody. Why, for whatever reason, whether it's DUI, we we're not exactly sure at this point, but they did take the driver into custody. How long this remains, we are still not certain. We are following BART this morning to try to find out if they have any information to pass along. But we do know with certainty, if you are going northbound and you're looking to go, to go through Oakland to San Francisco, once you get to the Coliseum, you will have to offload, take a bus bridge to Lake Merritt, and then continue. We'll be following this and we'll let you know exactly how long this delay will happen. But pretty incredible. Big question, how and why did the driver crash through the fence and literally collided head on with the train conductor and the BART train itself? Back to you.